All right, so I'm going to work through some of your homeworks from your um, Thanksgiving review <coughs> homework tonight. Okay, so problem number one, we've got a graph and shade because they're both inequalities. First one's already in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to start down at negative four. And from there, I'm going to move up three and write one. Or down three and left one. Okay, it is a dotted line. And if I was going to shade, it is less than, so I would shade below. I'm not going to shade until the end. Okay, the second one has to be rearranged first. All right, and warning, warning, you divided by a negative, so you've got to flip your sign. Okay, so I'm going to start at positive 2, and I'm going to go down 1 and write 3. That is a solid line. And it is also below. Okay, so we are below on the black line, below on the red line. So our part that would have been shaded is going to be this little area down here. All right, number two is just a um, system of equations. So we've already done these. I'm just going to set it up for you. I would multiply the top by two. That's going to give you 6x plus 4y equals 12. And now whenever you add these together, your x's will cancel, and you're going to get y equals 6. And then don't forget you've just got to plug this back in to either one of these for y to get your x, and your ordered pair will have a y value of 6 and an x value of whatever you find. <laughs> Number 3, all we do is we substitute here. Okay, so I'm going to put 2 in for x and negative 3 in for y. All so that gives me 8 is greater than or equal to 2. That is true. So yes, it is a solution. All right, remember we talked today. Shortcut from standard form is always opposite of A over B. Here's your A, here's your B, so the opposite of 2 would be negative 2. B is negative 6, and this does reduce to 1 third. Because it said parallel, the answer is just 1 third. If it said perpendicular, we'd have to flip it and change its sign. We've already done a solution problem. Okay, already this is in slope-intercept form, so your slope is given to you as 3 over 1. Therefore, your perpendicular slope, remember, you have to flip the fraction and change its sign. All right, all you're doing here, okay, this right here says years since 2005. Remember that rate of change is simply slope. Okay, so 2010 is five years since 2005, and 2015 is 10 years. So those are your X values. You plug those in right here for x. So the first one will be 150 times 0.77 to the fifth. And that gives me, remember what I told you, you can round the whole numbers on these. So that gives me 41. The second one will be 150 times 0.77 to the tenth. That gives me 11. So now just find your slope. Of these two points using y minus y over x minus x. So it'll be negative 6 over 1. Okay, and again, so to get these numbers right here, all I did was I did the 150 times 0.77 to the fifth and 150 times 0.77 to the tenth. And that's how I got the 41 and the 11. All right, so I'm going to work out number 9 and number 10. Okay, number 9, the first place I'm going to start is I'm going to square this 4, making that 16, and then I'm going to multiply x to the 6th, y to the negative 12th. First one stays the same. Now we multiply here. That gives me 32. Add your exponents. Negative 4 plus 6 is positive 2. 5 minus 12 is negative 7. And remember, to finish our problem, we cannot have a negative exponent, so we're going to move that y to the 7th down to the bottom. And number 10 is a radical problem. Square root of 16 is going to be 4, and we divide our exponents by 2. So a8 and b10. 
So there's not much left for you to do on your homework for me tonight.